Good afternoon, friends. I'm outside right now because people have said that being outside is an extraordinarily good thing in times like these. I uh, am looking forward to getting back to running again when the weather warms just a wee bit because I feel like maybe that'll be a part of my therapy as well as my uh, time to hear from the Lord as in times past. This afternoon I'm reading from a 30-year-old Bible that I've had since uh, the time we got married. It's one of my favorites uh, to read from because Mary marks so many scriptures here. Psalm 137, by the waters of Babylon, there they sat down and wept when we remembered Zion. On the willows there we hung up our, our lyres, for there our captors required of us songs and our tormentors mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. By the waters of Babylon there we sat down and wept when we remembered Zion. On the willows there we hung up our lyres, for there our captors required of us songs, and our tormentors mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. As I sit here, my hands look really large here too. I'm going to try to keep them down. As I sit here, I'm reminded that Mary said uh, something very powerful earlier today. She said, music lifts our spirits during times of great distress. And uh, I've certainly found that to be the case over the course of the years. So why would the people of Israel, when they were held captive in Babylon, be required to sing the songs of Zion? Maybe because it's the songs of Zion, the very songs that have great testimony connected with them that have such power. When you think about some of our great hymns and our great choruses, how they move the spirit when God, when God's people get together to worship. So in the coming days, you may not be with a, a group of people, but get with one other person in your household and sing a song of Zion, because wherever two or more are gathered in the name of the Lord, there God is in their midst. Look forward to seeing you next time.